Even after the introduction of all-seater stadiums, there has been a demand amongst British football fans to choose to stand during matches. This choice is already available to German fans of teams including Hanover, where the introduction of a rail seat system has proved successful. The Safe Standing campaign would like to see a similar model introduced across the UK. John Darch is the operator of the Safe Standing Roadshow. Over half of the Bundesliga clubs now do is use what we've christened in this country rail seats, the Germans call Variositze, variable seats, and that's what you see uh, beside me here, an integrated unit where you have a seat, a very basic seat, built within a frame that provides a waist-high rail for all the fans who are standing. So for Bundesliga domestic games, the seat is left in a locked up position. Then if the club with the, the rail seat area uh, installed is playing in Europe, the ground staff go around with a special key and put it in the lock in the seat there, lower the seat, and so when the fans come in for the game, the seats are down, that part of the ground, like the rest of the ground, is compliant with UEFA's all seater rules. If implemented, the rail seat system would enable grounds to hold roughly 50% more fans Bristol City have been developing ideas for the future of their stadium over the last five years. I came to Ashton Gate to see if safe standing would be considered in any of these plans. Well, it's interesting, an interesting model here. Um, the Bristol Rugby Club are joining us uh, in 12 months' time, so that changes the game in the sense that we have another set of supporters to consider. Um, in line with some potential development plans either at Ashton Gate or in a new stadium at Ashton Vale, now is very relevant to us with regards to looking at all options. Rugby fans are currently playing at the MEM, which has, um, I'd imagine, up, up to 50% standing, um, both alongside and behind the goal, which is uh, relatively unique, certainly in, nowadays in, in football stadia, because obviously Rovers play there. Um, but it's something that rugby fans have become accustomed to in Bristol, and it's something that if, they were, if and when they come here and want to stand, then we want to be able to facilitate that. The Hillsborough disaster which occurred on the 15th of April 1989, saw 96 Liverpool fans lose their lives. The legacy that the tragedy left was the introduction of all-seat stadiums designed to prevent any further loss of life at football grounds. I went to Liverpool to talk to a representative of the Hillsborough Family Support Group. We find the Safe Standing campaign um, an insult, an insult to the 96 people who were killed at Hillsborough. Um, as soon as you start a campaign like this, it won't end where you think it will. Um, you'll, you'll get one area where it may work for so long and then we'll just progress and progress until we're back to the sad state of affairs that we were in in the 80s. 96 deaths, that's... Um, that's an awful record and that was because of standing so yes i believe that it should never ever be allowed to be brought back we feel very very strongly that it's a backward step um why it's not been brought in so far hopefully because people in the heart of hearts know that it's the wrong thing to do it's a backward step lifelong west ham fan peter Caton is the author of stand up sit down in the book he assesses the arguments both for and against standing at football Having done so, he doesn't believe that standing is inherently dangerous. But I've tried to look at it objectively, uh, putting the case for and against standing. So I've started with looking at, at why uh, grounds went all seated, so at the various disasters, Hillsborough, Bradford, uh, Hazel, and analysing all of those and come to the conclusion that standing wasn't the cause of any of them. The legacy from, from Hillsborough doesn't have to be all seating, it has to be safe football grounds and you can have safe football grounds with standing areas. So you can have perfectly safe standing areas as we have at 23 grounds in Championship League 1 and League 2 and they're, they're licensed by the uh, Sports Ground Safety Authority, the government allow them. So if they're safe in League 1 and 2, what, why aren't they safe in the Premier League? I contacted the FA to see their current position on the safe standing campaign. They gave the following statement. Since the introduction of all seater stadia, the supporter experience at English football grounds has improved significantly. In summary, the FA would be happy to take part in discussions regarding the possible reintroduction of standing areas. However, that would have to be a decision taken by government. Sports Minister Hugh Robertson has said that there needs to be a clear demand for safe standing before it can be used. 
A number of Premier League chairmen, including West Ham's David Gold, have voiced their support for the Safe Standing campaign. They would like to see it operated on a trial basis to give it the chance to get off the ground. In his post Hillsborough report, Lord Justice Taylor said football fans would soon get used to sitting down. That quite clearly isn't the case. If you go to any game or watch a game on television, you'll see fans standing in numbers from low hundreds right up to sort of mid thousands. So clearly they haven't got used to sitting down and we feel very strongly that supporters should be given appropriate accommodation to stand in. We're very confident that we will get there sooner rather than later. We've got a growing support from football clubs themselves, mostly in the Championship. I mean, ultimately, football as an industry has got to look at what its fans want, and what its fans want is safe standing. And survey after survey demonstrates that even if supporters themselves don't wish to stand up, around 92% want to see choice. With financial fair play coming in, um, we have to look at every single area, um, reducing costs and increasing revenue. Anything that can really increase revenue has to be something that we should, that we should consider. Everywhere I've shown it, the fans like it. Even more importantly though, every club that I've taken this roadshow unit to, uh, there's not a single one who's against the idea. Because for the clubs, uh, you know, they recognise there is demand there from the fans. Like any business, if you have the ability to uh, look at exploring the idea of offering a new product that your customers, we hate being called customers as football fans, but we are, but your customers are saying they would like, why wouldn't you look at it? With over half of the Football League's 72 clubs already in support of the Safe Standing campaign, it is evident that the government are looking for a significant majority before agreeing to a trial period. Until then, it looks as though those in support will have to sit tight on Safe Standing.